Hello and welcome to a bonus edition of Robbie's Fanatics TV with me AJ and I'm doing a vlog today for the Surrey Premier League fixture between Carshalls and Athletic Women and Croydon FC Women. Uh, yeah, so Carshalls third, third league game of the season and currently uh, they've played two, lost 1-1 one, one and lost one and they have a goal difference of plus three so far. So they started the season well. Well, Quinn were sort of near the lower end of the of the league table, but uh, put up a good game. As for the game itself, well, Carl Shorten, um gave uh, took an early lead on the second minute, and Georgie Evans um, fired in a great shot from long range, which had the keeper beaten all hands down, uh, to put the Robins one 0 up. But uh, yeah, we had some very strong spells. Um, but Croydon did pull one back through uh, Camilla over Oberick. Um, the get goalkeeper came out for a ball and completely missed it by what it seems and uh, she took advantage and rolled the ball into an empty net to uh, level the scores uh, and then uh, about 10 minutes before the break uh, the away side took the lead uh, to be fair it was, it was a cracking free kick uh, Danielle D'Souza uh, got free kick about 20-25 yards out on the corner of the, the uh, pitch and just fired one in uh, keeper was back peddling, but it was it was too good and it beat her. It was a really good. We all had to applaud that. Really, it was a fantastic free kick from the player, but it gave the visitors the lead. Uh, Carl Shawn again had had more strong spells. Uh, the goalkeeper, uh, the Croydon Flare goalkeeper, uh, being the much busier of the two, uh, as, as we piled on the pressure. But um, yeah, come half time, it, we were found ourselves two and one down. Uh, now for the second half well Robbins I think dominated the second half from start to finish I mean the Croydon had a couple of counter attacks but that was it it was all cut short I mean we uh, you know we, we put in some great free kicks and some great corners and stuff um, I mean I think one corner in the first half looked like it went in straight in but um, it wasn't, what goal wasn't given although it looked like it had gone behind the line but you know a couple of players peeled for it but it's really hard to tell from from that angle, um, but uh, yeah, going back to the second half, uh, yeah, Carl Shorten just dominated it, and uh, yeah, um, yeah. And then eventually, we did finally get a level score, which is the least that we deserve. You know, the most we the least we deserve because um, it was such a strong second half from the Robins. Uh, Heather Eid, um, uh, the corner was taken. Uh, Heather Eid uh, uh, fired in. Fired in a shot after it came off a crossbar and fell to her, and she fired it home past the group of players to uh, put the to make it two two for the Robins. Um, yeah, it was a no no more than they deserved. I mean, I think they if they could have gone on and won it as well. I mean, they were peppering peppering the uh, Croydon goal. The goalkeeper was made some good saves actually. The Croydon Athletic, the Croydon FC goalkeeper made made some really good saves and uh, yeah, but um. Yeah, full time came and uh, yeah, the points were shared. Uh, but like I say, it was the, you know, it was the least we deserved. I mean, if we'd have come come out of that game with a defeat, that would have been really harsh, really harsh because they played so fantastically well in the second half. It's just, just the, the final finishing touch, a bit like the first team really. This, you know, the final finishing touch went there. The goalkeeper did pull off some good saves, so it weren't for the want of trying. Uh, our set pieces are very dangerous. They don't really know how to take good set piece the, uh, the women's side. Uh, the corners are right in on the mix, nearly every one. Uh, free kicks as well on the edge on the edge of the area uh, were dangerous and causing them problems. So uh, yeah, it was it was it, we deserved the point. I, I think we could, probably could have got all three, but uh, I'll, I'll have taken a point from that. So um, and that's what we got. So uh, yeah, I think that puts. Uh, uh, Robins in fourth place now in the Surrey Premier Division. So uh, yeah, good, good even start. Played three, one, one, drew one, lost one. So you know, considering it, you know it's our first season, uh, you know that's not a bad start. But yeah, so that was good. But uh, yeah, real test coming up next week. I mean, um, uh, the Robins take play their first away game next Sunday, and they're away to Farnham Town, who have. Got a extremely strong squad of players, from what I gather. They've got some, you know, a lot of players from like step four, step five playing for them, and uh, they're really gunning for it. They're currently 
unbeaten in the season, played three and one three, and they scored quite a lot of goals as well. They put six past today's opponents, Croydon. So that's going to be a real test for the for the Robins uh, next week. Uh, hope they can come through it, but um, yeah, I won't be at that one. But uh, hopefully they they can try and come away with something. But that's not going to be easy. That's uh, Farnham, I think, are one of the favourites to sort of win win this uh, division and give, go straight up. So um, yeah, it'll be. Yeah, you know, it'll be a really tough game for the Robins. Hopefully, we'll come through it. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's it from me. I'll wrap this up now. But uh, yeah, so a good result today. I probably could de probably deserve the win, but um, you know, a, a two-two draw uh, was good. You know, uh, for the for the dominance that Carl Shorten played, especially in the second half, it was a it was the least they deserved. So yeah, well done them. So uh, that's it now. Uh, I'll be back soon with another vlog, and um, I will. Um, see you soon so thanks for watching um, give us a like and I will see you soon uh, until next time Arrivederci